Ben had beat Coffee Bug earlier today. Am I right? Oh, uh, yeah. Now, I don't know how much... Um, how much Swigzy's gonna benefit from throwing Pikmin uh, because of Nair and... Uh, because of Nair specifically on Palu, but right now, Christ, seems to be changing my 70%. mind quite heftily. Getting a nice 75 on all these Pikmin throws, and Jen not putting a single finger on Swigzy yet. He's got oh, a blue and purple death? on deck. Oh, no, no, my commentator. Forward throw back air, finally. My curse has struck again. This is <laughs> my Spider Man superpower. Yeah, Lord. This is my quirk. This is my Steve. Nice, uh, good, good avoidance on the uh, side special there. Auto Reckle gonna box out and trade with Pikmin. Purple, red, and oh, yellow. Oh, nice! Down smash by Spitzy. I wish I knew the timing to punish Paolo recovery on that because I see I see pro players do it. Like, granted, they're pro players, but I see other people. I just see people do it in general, and I wish I could be just like them because <laughs> it's so satisfying after a Palu gets an oppressive nair string on you, and then they whiff one option, and then they're forced to recover to ledge with up smash. It's like, bink! No! Mom, mom, I want to be like the buzz when I grow up. I do not want to be like the buzz when I grow up. I'm very I'm sorry. I'm kidding. Warp recovery caught by an up air on Swigzy. Ooh, but I saw Smash that shield though. But like, yeah. With that first stock though, I feel like Jen was a little, just, just a little bit, uh... uh nice armor through like, the dash attack, saving himself the uh, unnecessary like, knockback there. Like right as they as they walk right to the ledge, but right. this is not too bad though. Both, both are down to their last stock. Swigsy with a little bit of a percent lead though. Nothing that Palu can't uh, inch, uh, take back with her, like I had said, oppressive nair strings. I think Palu has such. Uh, I mean, this we have seen this for too. for what years on end in Ultimate Palu's toolkit. Yeah. It's so good, it's so useful. She has so many different moves. Nair to combat Pikmin when they're on for her strings in general. Auto reticle and uh, and uh, the flame explosion side special there for great range tools, but she also has such a great close range kit as well in all of his normals. Uh, especially with, with her Nair, her Bear, her Dash Attack, and all that. Like, I, 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 I wouldn't really say uh, uh, until it's like that that much. I think maybe, down. Maybe, oh maybe my down goodness! Tilt, I think down tilt for Palu is good because it two frames, and then it leads you to back air if you're able to squeeze that out. Fair, yeah. if not, up air even too if if you feel confident enough in taking them out to the top blast zone. Yeah. Um. Like her her arrows are like, are mad good. Mm -hmm. For sure. Yeah. For sure. Uh, however, I don't. I can't speak much on the other tilts. Forward tilt maybe a little bit, but that's just because yeah. it's, it's it's a multi hit range. Yeah, and it seems a little slow. It, it, it is a little slow on that end. But we're moving uh, into game two. Just rinse and repeat here on PS2 with the same matchup. Good DI out to avoid that fair there on the uh, down throw. Oh, smash out a shield. Uh, dash right towards them. Now a nice 60% lead for Swigzy here. And he's just playing the same game plan that he that he played with Cody earlier, where he's just throwing the Pikmin. But I mean, eh? can, can you really win? Is, is, no, is I can't. <laughs> oh, oh my yo. goodness! Jesus Christ, that was at 60. Like I had said before, Jen felt confident taking him up to the top. Showed him a little bit of the skybox. Said this place got clouds, bro. <laughs> oh. I've, High recovery though, not wanting to suffer the same fate of a down smash at ledge, however, Swigzy's gonna take him back to the sky, bro. Said it's time to a taste of your own medicine. <laughs> you you did some stuff up? Alright, then so am I. Explosive flame gonna challenge Pikmin though. Now Swigzy's going to town. These Pikmin throws. However, yeah. Jen is retaliating with well-timed shield uh shield bursts. Oh, nice explosive flame. Oh, Wants to get that up there yet, yet again, but nah, not that. Not even gonna get the close claim either. Oh, but nice grab. Back throw, nice not gonna back. kill yet. Oh. Just just a little shy on the percent. Oh, good that explosive flame Swigzy was there. dangerously close. Nair, not gonna kill yet. Ah, we're gonna take the explosive flame there. Though. Nicely done by Jen. Yeah, no, for. Uh, I think he had a little bit of a percent different. Uh, percent. Uh, 
Yeah, I think Swigzy had a bit of a percent lead there, and a good climb back from Jen on that part. Uh, closing up both stocks while he was down. Yeah, Swigzy did, did have a, a bit of a percent lead at, at around the start of the game, but now, besides a turn two, Jen's Ooh. favorite. Oh. I like how yeah. I like how earlier Swigzy had waited for Jen to go to center stage with his uh, recovery and uh, tried to catch him out with an up smash. And I think that's good. Uh, that's really good awareness to have in this type of matchup, especially because of how punishable um, Jen's recovery is with Palu. Alright. <laughs> now, now, now it seems like both of us are kind of kind of zoning each other out. I think Swigzy's just playing more patient in general, kind of waiting yeah. for a lot of Jen's Ooh. options. Nice catch on that jump, though, with that back A. Okay, Swigzy. He seems to be doing a lot more platform camping with these up smashes and up airs, uh, which are some of his most potent starters, especially up smash, too, even if yeah. he hits it with a nice purple Pikmin. Or, or, or yellow one. If, if, if I'm saying that, that also does a pretty dang good. He's armoring through that back air too, saving himself the trouble of getting knocked back and keeping himself in the fight on center stage. As both players just seem to scramble around a little bit. Ooh. Ooh. That was right idea on Jen to counter, but Swigzy had forward smash just a little too far. But, but it's like they, they made it up with, with a Oh my god! There's that down tilt forward air right there. Yeah, no, you're right. Down till forward air, but I was not expecting Swixie to die there. Actually, what, what, what percent were, were they even at? Um, I believe they were around. I I believe they were around 80 to 80 to 90. I don't think I don't think either of them were at 100. Um, if they were at 100, it was Swixie when he died. But again, I don't. I did not expect him to die from that move at all. That is a little surprising. Might have been a little bit of a DI mix up there on Swixie's part. Just to, Maybe DI the wrong way. Maybe, maybe the DI was a bit off. Yeah. Anyways, yo, on to the very last game right here. Nice little strong Ooh shot. Ooh, oh, zero to death. Swigzy ain't playing games anymore. No, Swigzy's furious after the way that uh, that last match must have ended. Ooh, baby. Missing the up smash up air combo, but he's still got a nice stock and percent lead on Jen here. However, Jen is showing that he's not afraid, that he's not one to back down. He's going to fight back for the rest of this stock and this set even. Oop. That was a bit of a strange, just empty jump. I was not expecting that to send that way, I'm being honest with you, 100%, bro. No, uh, I was probably like expecting like... I, like I thought uh, Spike would uh, come out. Some area out of shield. Down to our back air. Barely missing the DI out on that Swixie's part. Ooh. Up smash, Went not going to go ahead and contest that aerial. Down throw fair, and now he's gonna Pikmin drop. Not trying to punish with a down smash. Maybe he thought it was a little too risky or uh, didn't get the timing down. Explosive we'll flame's explosive gonna frame. catch nice. his ball. Okay, okay, Jen. He's still got a little bit of breathing room here with his nice percent lead that he has on Jen as he's slowly climbing back though, however, with these nice. up air strings up juggling him and constantly catching his landing options. We in the circus today. Barely missing that pivot grab though, however. Ooh. Nice catch on the tech with that Those side Explosive beat. flames. Jen has not really been hit all that much. Ooh, but nice catch on that up with that up -y. Good movement on Swigzy's right. Swigzy has really been paying attention to where Jen uses that teleportation to. And he's been catching it a lot underneath these platforms and just open space in general with a lot of these Ooh. upward moves. But Jen, however, doing the same with his up smash there finally after all of his up air juggles as well too. Jab's gonna send him off, give him a chance to go ahead and ledge guard. He's trying to catch a two frame with, spar uh, with down tilt, but nothing unfortunately. Ooh. Okay, is that four to ask you? All right. Oh! Forward oh, smash gonna beat through the Pikmin. Right. Yeah, we're. Hey, oh, yeah. so, so he's just going, going back to like just keeping his distance and all that. Roll it up. There we're he is, the Jungle fellas. City, bro. We're back in the circus. He said, "Skybox is your friend, Swigs. You gotta go back, bro. You got a spaceship for a reason." <laughs> Return to the stars, brother. He said. <laughs> oh. Swigzy is showing immaculate control over the space that Jen has. Barely missing the down smash timing there for a two frame on recovery. 
The late hitbox in there is going to send him flying there. Jen is slowly climbing back, playing just a little bit more patient and careful than he was beforehand. Ooh. Down throw up there, a little shy, missing it. Nice nair dodge through on Swigzy's part, though, to save himself the trouble. Oh, explosive, explosive flame. flame! And there you have it! Oh! Oh! oh. oh that looks dangerous as hell! Yo, Jen almost died! <laughs> that was a very risky oh. play on Jen's part, but, it's, but it worked out favorously for him in the end. Almost dying from...